Okay, we are here with Steve Niles, creator of 30 Days of Night, riding on the Creeper, many other things, and I had a few questions I was going to ask. Um, so you did Frankenstein, vampires, zombies, ghouls, Batman, mutants, Jekyll and Hyde, and Bigfoot. What's next for you as far as horror, and what, what do you have in mind, you know, like any creatures you're wanting to do or projects? Well, right, the next big thing, actually, I'm doing... Uh a series with Bernie Wrightson for Dark Horse called City of Others. And the one thing I'm getting a chance to do now is, I mean, all the monsters you mentioned, I kind of did, but not very, not in very traditional ways. And uh, Bernie and I are doing something with like a more traditional take on vampires and things like that, more of a supernatural take. So I'm, you know, I'm doing that. Still got Cal McDonald going and his new monster all the time in there. So, you know, I'm just gonna keep going, keep doing it. I read that you want, uh you want City of Others to be like a monster universe. Yeah. How, what do you mean by that? Um, just simply like, you know, when you pick up a Marvel comic, it's a world occupied by superheroes. Uh, this is a world occupied by monsters, and you're seeing it from their perspective. So humans are on the outside of the story. I'm just, you know, it's, it's, from, it's from their perspective, their world, their problems, their, you know, everything like that. So just telling, it's just a slight change of percep you know, perception. So once you finish with your run, like your, how many issues is your run going to be? Um, City of Others? Yeah. Uh, four, well, we're going to do them in four issues. We're gonna, it's going to be ongoing. So do you see like other writers doing the series later on, like, expanding it to like a whole line of comics? I, I'm doing that with other books. I'm doing that with a series I did called Fused. And a new thing I'm doing based on a video game called Strange Cases. I, I'm writing, you know, I'm working with other writers on that. You know, and they're writing my characters. But with City of Others, I'm going to stick to writing it for a while. Yeah. Um, so 28 Days Later, The Aftermath, uh, you're doing a comic that bridges the gap between the old film and the new film. And I was wondering, are there going to be any characters from the old film that are going to pop up in the comic? There's a really good chance. Yeah, what it is is two, it's, uh, it's four 22-page stories bound together in one. And it touches, like... The first story actually goes into the lab of the first movie and shows you what happened before. So there's overlap, and there are hints at the, at the other characters. So, yeah. Very cool, very cool. Um, I was wondering if you're going to do anything more in the style of like Fruits of the Heartland, because that's one of my favorite books you've written, just because it's um, you know, so simple, a story. And uh, the art, of course, Greg Ruth. I was wondering if you were planning on doing anything with him in the future or doing any story like that that's not vampires or monsters just kind of I have a story right now I'm hoping I'm gonna pitch it to Vertigo um, called Crush which is very much the same type of tone as Freaks of the Heartland um, not the big over-the-top blood gore horror thing just a quieter simpler story uh, I'm doing that and then aside from that me and Greg want to work together so bad we're just waiting until we both have time so I, I, I think we you know we email each other every month or so and it's like, do you have time? Do you have time? So we're, we're going to find something to do. Awesome. I read online about a book you were tentative to do with Ben Templesmith called Sacred Hearts, and I'd never heard anything else about it. It's, uh, you said it started off with a female werewolf burying her lover. Yeah. And so what happened with that? Um, the series never took off, and then Ben got busy, you know, with, he's doing fell and, you know, that stuff, and then I got pulled away, and it just, it was one of those projects that just... You know, we have this pitch. It's still there. I still have the idea. Just haven't had a chance to go back to it. So do you plan on pursuing it in the future still? Do you plan on still putting it out? One way or the other, I'm going to get around to it again. You know, so. And I heard you just came out with a new book, or it's coming out soon, called Pieces for Mom, A Tale of the Undead. Yes, there it is. Yeah, it's actually, it's coming out next week. I just got a few. Okay, cool. Um, so this is like a different take on the living dead? It's like... It's just a different, you know, I, what I like to do, I mean, with, I did Remains and then this, and Remains is really like, yeah, it's a zombie story, but it's really about a relationship between these three people and this sort of love triangle that happens. And this is the same, sort of the same thing. It's a zombie story, but it's about dysfunctional family. It's about, you know, kids who are dumped by their father, really, you know, so it's just taking the zombie thing and just taking it a little bit beyond just running around with guns and shooting and stuff so yeah um i see that you've worked with like many different artists 
many different styles. Is there anyone that you've been wanting to work with that you haven't got an opportunity to? There's so many, you know, there's so many, especially with uh, a lot of the old, uh, a lot of the older guys. I, I had such a blast working with Richard Corbin, and like, God, just you know, do something with you know Sal Buscema or you know Ramita, Ditko. I mean, any of these guys, I'd love to. And there's a million modern guys, you know. There's so many great artists out there. So hopefully, get to work with everybody at some point. And lastly, um, since 30 Days of Night is coming out around this Halloween, if it's uh, as big a success as we all hope it is, do you see uh, David Slade doing a Dark Days movie in the future? They can if they want. They, you know, they basically rate me when they bought 30 Days. They, ought, you know, they have the right to do that. So we're all kind of, we'll see. If it's a success, that could happen. All right, well, that's all I had. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.